Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. Today, I want to show you how to capture Wi-Fi packets using Microsoft Windows and Wireshark. And one last little thing to add. You don't have to buy any software. This is all built into Windows, so I think you're going to enjoy this. We'll jump right into it. The goal here is to capture packets from a wireless device using Windows. So this could be for troubleshooting applications, baselining, learning. Many times people are asking me, how do I capture packets from my phone? You could try to find apps for your phone, but then VPN clients get put on it, messes other stuff up. This is a far easier way. You're basically turning your laptop into a hotspot. And by doing so, we're gonna Wireshark, run Wireshark on the laptop and capture the packets from the phone, the IP camera, the whatever. Just please do not set up your laptop as a hotspot with the same SSID as the office or your house. Don't be doing that. That's not a good thing. Create a brand new SSID and whatever device you want to capture from, give it that SSID and password. The setup here is pretty simple. I've got a laptop connected to a switch, it goes off to the internet, and it's got Wi-Fi on the laptop as well. If you want to use it with a desktop, same deal. Just get a USB Wi-Fi adapter if it doesn't have Wi-Fi built into the desktop and you do the same exact same setup and I'm using an Android phone to talk to the new SSID I just created through the laptop through the switch off to the internet. So in the Windows configuration with Windows 10 and Windows 11 you just hit the little start button in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. You go to settings from settings you choose the network and internet configuration screen. This pops up and you want to go to the mobile hotspot section here in the left hand side near the bottom. From there, you're going to configure your SSID and your password. You're going to flip on, give it, I don't know, five, 10 seconds. Go to your phone or your tablet or whatever you want to use. And when you go to your Wi Fi networks, this should appear. After you've typed in your SSID and your password, you will appear in the devices connected list. When that is done, you are good to go. So this, I've done this probably four or five times, maybe six. I have not had one issue doing this. So I don't know how well this works in 11, but I can't see it being any different than 10. So from there, you go to the laptop, right? The one that we're on. And we're going to go to the network connection screen. And by doing so, you will see a new adapter appear and is the Microsoft Wi-Fi direct virtual adapter driver. So from that, this is what we're going to capture from. We're capturing from this virtual adapter. You can also capture from the Ethernet adapter as well. Um, I find this just seems to work more reliably. So you can choose one and or the other. So from within Wireshark, if you've hidden your interfaces under manage interface then you're not going to be able to see it so you may have to click on manage interfaces locate this wi-fi direct virtual adapter and put a check mark there and you will see it if not you can just choose your ethernet adapter again that will work uh, just don't pick your wi-fi adapter i find that doesn't work consistently on all systems and then you just capture away capture like you normally do you can see right here my phone is doing some dns lookups I ran a uh, ping utility on it, so I can see the pings going out on it. I can see it arping, so on and so on, and you're good to go. So I tried to keep this under five minutes. I tried to keep it with all the built-in stuff in Windows, and that should help you out. Have a good day, folks. Bye for now.